The penis is not a solo performer. The penis does not function independent of the rest of the body. So today we are going to discuss impotence and erectile dysfunction. Okay? Because we need to understand that the penis is an overall indicator of your well-being. Now an erection is made possible or dependent on the free flow of blood to and from the penis. That particular function is dependent on a healthy endothelium. So I'm gonna bring you a little closer to describe what that is, because a lot of people focus on the penis when they are talking about impotence, erectile dysfunction, but we need to look at other parts of the body so that it makes sense. Now, endothelium. What I drew right here, this is a blood vessel. When you cut the blood vessel in half, this is what you have right here. All I did was slice the blood vessel in half. The inside layer of the blood vessel is called the endothelium. Th when this gets damaged and dysfunction, this can lead over time to erectile dysfunction and impotence. And I'm going to tell you why this is so important. A healthy endothelium is able to contract and relax based on blood pressure fluctuations. Now, like I said, this is the interior, the lining, the skin of the blood vessel. This guy always has to repair itself anytime there's damage from environmental factors, excessive liquor, excessive grain consumption, lack of exercise, accumulation of waste. Now the body is made to handle a certain amount of injury and then it's able to uh, repair itself. So we get a lot of muck in the endo inside of the blood vessel and the endothelial lining comes through and makes an attempt at repairing it, cleaning this area up. But, and then we do it again. We get a lot of muck because we're having a lot of fried foods, we're having a lot of meat, a lot of chicken, we're overdoing it, and then it comes through. But now the endothelium was only able to repair a certain amount before we went and injured the lining again. So now we have more muck, more plaque, more mucus endothelial comes again and starts to clean it up but before it could even get through now more plaque starts to build up and starts to block the vessels and it starts to bulge and go across now this is going to cause an increase in what blood pressure increase in blood pressure to overcome the increased resistance as time goes on the plaque is going to continue to accumulate and develop a cap of calcium this can become so hard and so brittle that a piece of plaque can break off and block the artery this entire section right here it can break off block the artery and that will result in a stroke or a heart attack and that's one of the reasons why the penis, the circulatory system, and the, the cardiovascular system are very connected. So when you're trying to work on something as far as impotence or erectile dysfunction, we have to work on your circulation so that we can eliminate this plaque deposit so that the blood now goes back to flowing free that river of light is able to flow freely but a lot of times we are constantly self-injuring ourselves, and we don't give our bodies enough time to repair itself that is the true issue with impotence erectile dysfunction circulation issues heart issues endothelium um, damage the plaque buildup happens because of the endothelial damage. Nobody really speaks about that, but that is the reason why the plaque buildup happens. A lot of garbage in the food, excessive protein. Men like to eat a lot of protein that comes from animal products. I did a top 20 video. If you, you can go back there to see the issue with having excessive red meat, eggs, chicken, and things like that. I won't go through it here. So this this issue is going to lead to this and something that i learned from my teacher dr laila africa was that the direction of the erection is going to tell you the health of the man 
This is from Dr. Africa. So in his book, he has a drawing of the penis and it goes in several directions. This right here is the stomach. And you can test this out on yourself. Is your erection going up? Is it going this way? Is it going out front? Or is it on its way down? Because if you have an erection and it's not at least somewhere within this category, then you are already having endothelial dysfunction. You're already having plaque buildup in the vessels and you're already having sluggish movement of the river of light, which I call the blood. If it's going in these directions, you need to give your body time to heal. You need to give your body time to repair itself. You need the endothelial lining to repair itself so that the plaque, the plaque can break down and be eliminated via your kidneys or your colon. Now, restriction in the penis means restriction in the rest of the body. So I'm gonna give you something very simple that you could get in any store that can help clean out your endothelial lining because of its astringent properties. Now, I'm in the mood to draw, so y'all are gonna watch me draw this. You can get it anywhere. This is called an apple, and it has astringent properties that can clean your endothelial tissues and your epithelial tissues. That's a little separate, and it contains structured water. I went over structured water in the vitamin D video. It, it can nourish and infuse your tissues with energy and information, and the pectin, the pectin and the skin, it's gonna enhance their detoxification by drawing out the bile and accumulated toxins. So you want to make sure to have apples. One thing that you can do is go on a mono diet for my gentleman. Women can do it too. Like it's for, this could be for everybody. Mono diet means you choose one fruit and you have just that fruit for three days straight. Anywhere from one to three days, you'll get a really, really nice cleansing. I like apples because they are known to contain the structured water. They have astringents. The skin is excellent for you, so make sure you get organic apples because if you get the non-organic ones then now you're and you're eating the skin you're consuming the toxins that were sprayed on the apples you're consuming the glyphosate and the roundup and all that other garbage that's on the apple also um i would like to do it with grapes but i haven't seen seeded grapes in a while so don't do it with that it has to be organic it has to be seeded that's one thing also you want to clean out your body you want to drink things that will stimulate your body to release waste now I have something that I will be releasing today. It is called the Bitas, okay? You can get this if you want. You don't have to. But essentially what this is going to do, once you taste it, you are going to cringe, you're going to squirm. The moment you taste it, it's going to cause your liver, your stomach, your gallbladder is gonna cause them to open up and release the waste out of your body. And once the waste starts releasing out of your body, you're gonna have an increase in energy and you're going to have an increase in blood flow, which means regulated blood pressure along with a stronger erection, the, a new direction, and overall cleansiness. So I found a way to make my full body detox it's not gonna be um, two weeks and three weeks. This is more of a seven to 10 day detox, but it's gonna be excellent and you'll get a nice purge because our bodies are filled with garbage. And the thing with not having a fairly clean colon is that the waste can go back into circulation. And by going back into circulation, it's being carried through the blood vessels again and re-damaging your endothelial, your blood vessel interior lining that's why you got to drink the bitters i have other things on the website highfrequency.com for the men because the men are up constantly neglected and i've been getting a lot of emails and dms about impotence and erectile dysfunction so i just wanted to break it down for you a little bit like i said you have to take herbs that will cleanse out your colon or you can do the mono diet or you can do a water fast or you can do a raw food diet. There's a lot of ways to, to play this thing so that you can increase your vitality, increase your strength. Most of you don't need to take energy supplements. The energy is in you. You just have to get the waste out so that your body is producing what's known as ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the end product of when your body goes through the electron transport chain. I'm not gonna go into, go into that today. I do have a video on it, 
but your body creates the energy based off of what you eat. So what you eat is more important than the genetics that you are born with. What you eat is more important than the genetics you are born with. So completely reversible. And remember, if you go about it the, the way of taking high blood pressure medication, diabetes medication, all these medications typically sh tell you in the fine print that impotence and erectile dysfunction can be one of the side effects. So you have to change your diet. You got to get some air. The gentleman, you have to get from some sun because lack of vitamin D has also been one of the leading causes of prostate cancer, especially in men of African descent. So these are a couple things that we need. Obviously, clean air, clean water. This is the water I drink from time to time. Why Yakia? I did a water fast with just that water. Uh... You need more live foods. You need fruits and you need vegetables. And the reason that you need it is because the fruits, the organic seeded fruits have information inside of the seeds that will be able to communicate to your cells things that they need. So the seed has genetics. The fruit has genetics. The apple has DNA. And the beautiful thing about the, the apple's genetics is that it's able to flip switches on and off on and off in your body. So if you are creating a disease or a, pro or a protein that is creating a disease in your body, live foods have exosomes packaged um, and they have microRNA in it. So exosome is what is packaged in. MicroRNA is what is, is inside of the package. And when you eat these foods, it's able to literally shift and change your DNA in real time. It's beautiful when you think about it, that by you eating an apple is able to turn on and off a gene that may be causing you some suffering. We don't have enough natural foods in our life and that's why we have so much problems. You need more natural foods because the natural foods carry information. The natural food has genetics. The sun is able to give you information. The sun, when you stand out in the sun, it's able to eradicate a lot of waste out of your body. So let's get back to nature. Let's get back to natural. Gentlemen, you don't have to live with this dysfunction. All right? Completely 1000% reversible with discipline. But if this is something that's emotional, uh, the erectile dysfunction, because it can be um, an emotional thing, that has to be worked with your mental state, with meditation, exercise. And also you gotta start eliminating grains. If you have impotence or some type of um, issue with your penis, you gotta eliminate grains for some time. Brown rice, white rice, all of it. Just get rid of the grains and increase your intake of fruits and vegetables. If you do need a grain, amaranth is good. Fonio is good. These are the grains that's over three, 4,000 years old. Um, spelt is also good. Spelt has gluten, so if you do have gluten sensitivity, then you might want to avoid that. But it's a it's a different kind of gluten than you would find in things like brown flour or white flour. But if you have the sensitivity, don't bother with it. But eliminate the grains, increase your vegetable and fruit intake. Take herbs. I have um, a herbal supplement here, King Vitality. But if you did want to take something or get something on your own, maca is amazing maca root you can get a powder you can add it to your smoothie and you need to cut back on the meat gentlemen meat is not the only source of protein that is recycled meat that was protein that was created for another animal that your body has to now destructure and restructure to be fitting for a human so you need to get protein make that comes from vegetables and plants and mushrooms oyster mushrooms have a lot of protein oyster mushrooms have protein um, they have amino acids. Stop looking for protein and start looking for amino acids. Protein is already made for somebody else. It's made for the cow. It's made for the fish. It's made for the chicken. Your body has to do a lot of work to organize it in a way where it's beneficial for you. If you have it once in a while, that's, that's fine. You know, I don't, I, like I said, I don't push the veganism on anybody because it is a very, very, it's a difficult journey in the beginning to get the parasites and the waste out that's controlling your thoughts that make you want it. It's, it's time consume. It's a process. I didn't become vegan overnight. It took me a very long time to get here because I had, um, a lot of things that were controlling me and making me think I wanted these things. But once I was stood, stayed away from it for about a month, I didn't want it anymore. 
that might not be the case for everybody but if you're still going to consume fish meat and chicken make sure the red meat is grass-fed do not buy grain-fed cheap meat you have to get grass-fed meat because if you're consuming regular red meat where the cow was eating grains you're now getting those grains which have an ability to permeate your intestinal wall they're not giving them good grains these cows aren't eating amaranth and phonio they're eating trash so now you're consuming not only the cow product but you're consuming whatever they consume and it's in their tissues so now you're still getting the grain get grass-fed meat if you're still going to have meat if you're going to have chicken do you have to buy it organic and free range and if you're gonna have fish it has to be wild caught the only thing for you to get a little bit of nutrients from the fish is if you buy it wild caught because then at least you could get the phytoplankton that the fish eats from the bottom of the ocean that is high in omega-3 most of us are having too much things that are high in omega-6 which causes inflammatory inflammatory markers to go up so you want to have things to counteract that inflammation with omega-3s, things like walnuts, coconut oil. And like I said, if you're still not coming off of the meats, wild-caught salmon. You need to have wild-caught fish. You need to have free-range organic chicken. And it can't be every day. You cannot have animal products every day. And dairy, there's no substitute. Dairy just got to go. It just has to go 1,000%. Don't have animal products every day. Give your body a break. Don't have grains every day and change the hours that you eat from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. because if you can correlate the times that you eat with the environment, with the sun, you will notice a difference in your body. And also, ladies and gentlemen, you wanna to go to sleep at a decent time so that your body can start to produce the melatonin, which is gonna make you feel better the next day. You need to go to sleep by about 11 o'clock to get melatonin production, to get melanin production, and for your body to heal. So if you're incorporating all of these new things, you need to start going to sleep on time so that, we, so that your body can have time to heal. Nighttime is the right time. It is so important to go to sleep and get a, well, a nice night's rest. And if you have issues sleeping, get ashwagandha powder, put it in a little walnut milk, drink it before maybe a half hour you go to sleep, I believe you will have a nice calm night or even like a little bit of ashwagandha and turmeric. Not too much. You just need a little bit. And um, I think that covers it. Like I said, we have teas here. If you are a tea drinker to help increase the circulation to remove waste and to get give you a stronger penis, which essentially means a stronger heart, a stronger circulatory sing um, system. We have a herbal pe penis soap also. It's equivalent to a vaginal douche. Because, men, you do have microscopic bacteria that you cannot see that can be passed back and forth between you and your lady. Remember, the bitas or the full body detox. This is going to be limited because I'm not going to Jamaica anytime soon to get to re-up on these products. So this is going to be here and there. And like I said, a multivitamin, this works. I'm getting a lot of great reviews. But the thing is, men leave like three, three, like three word reviews. I can't. So I don't even bother posting it but that covers it i love you guys and share the video post it help a brother